always kept secret in football since Jose Mourinho to, Jose Mourinho to uh, Manchester United. I think uh, it's been clear for, for at least around the last 10 days that uh, Roberto Di Matteo would be um, the, new, uh, the new Villa manager. Uh, finally, it's been uh, confirmed. Very brief statement on the official website. Uh, nothing more than a, a brief uh, brief uh, resume for Di Matteo and then a, a one-line quote which described it as obviously a great honour um, to uh, to be uh, the new Villa manager. I understand it will be a two-year deal for the uh, for the Italian former West Bromwich Albion uh, head coach Steve Clark, said to come in as his uh, assistant. Uh, I also understand that uh, Kevin Bond. Uh, the former Tottenham assistant will form part of the backroom staff. Well, certainly, that is the uh, that is the intention, along with uh, Massimiliano Marchese, uh, the uh, Inter Milan uh, fitness coach, who, uh, who's got a rather fantastic website. If any Villa supporters want to uh, have a look at it, his nickname is the Shake of the Muscles. Uh, so, certainly, an, an interesting character to have on on board at, at Villa Park. Uh, I, I would say the mood, uh, cautious optimism. Um, it's probably the best way to describe it. Di Matteo certainly wasn't in the frame uh, when Remy Gard uh, departed Villa Park back at the end of March now. Uh, but obviously, uh, Tony, Z Tony Zia's takeover, or proposed takeover of the club, has completely changed the uh, changed the landscape. And uh, Di Matteo, um, you know, is, is now the new manager. And, and you know, let's not make any bones about it. Huge job on his hands. Fans on the whole seem pretty happy with the appointment. Yeah, I think you know. <laughs> Cautious optimism. I'm kind of stealing that from uh, the Villa supporters' trust, which is how they describe the, the takeover. But I think that's probably the best way to describe the mood at, at, at Villa at the moment. Uh, season from hell, only three league wins, uh, club going nowhere. The takeover needed to happen. It looks like it is going to happen. Of course, the takeover is still going through, so there's still an element of limbo um, around the place at the moment. But the man, again, the manager on board was the first big thing. You know, it's. Uh, it feels like a long time since the end of the season now. It's only been three weeks. You know, Villa are playing catch up. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, said for a long time uh, during the past season that one of the advances was they would have time to prepare uh, for the championship. But that's kind of gone now. Di Matteo and, and Steve Clark have kind of got to hit the ground running. But you know, they're they're here now and, and ready to uh, ready to work. And so, what's the next step? Well, the next step is obviously we need uh, Steve Clark has not been confirmed as yet. I understand that should be uh, not too uh, not too far off, and and then really uh, they're waiting for the for the takeover to uh, to go through, uh, which uh, which which could be uh, the week after next. Now, uh, the football league go away to, to Portugal next week. Um, I say the entire football league. You know, many of the club directors and the uh, the. Uh, head honchos, uh, should I say, uh, horrible phrase perhaps to use, go away to, to Portugal uh, for an end of season summit. And the, the concern among those um, in, the, in Tony Jar's uh, takeover, those the people associated with it, is that that will further delay uh, the ratification of the takeover. It's still been checked over by the Football League uh, and the Premier League. They'll go through a whole load of tests. Uh, frustrating for fans, certainly frustrating for, for Tony Jar and, and his people, but, but you know you can't blame the, the Football League or the Premier League. There have been so many instances now of, of people taking over clubs and it going awry that it's only right that they've got a, a, a fit and proper person test and you know that it's toughened up and that people people go through stringent checks. Um, so what Di Matteo and Clark can do is start making plans. Um, you know, the players um, you know will get a plan now for, for, for when they're due back. Uh, into pre-season training, probably only about a month away now. Uh, Villa have sorted out some, uh, have sorted out some friendlies, um, and we're, we're what you know, sixth of August the championship season starts. So I'm sure Di Matteo, in as part of the uh, you know his due diligence of the club, and also the, the interview progress, will have got a, the lowdown on, on how things have been. Um, you know, obviously a lot of things have been reported in the press about the uh, the Villa dressing room. Um, but he'll have his targets as well, and, and so will Clark. And I think Clark coming on board as well is a very shrewd move. Di Matteo's got a reputation of being very laid back, uh, and probably you know you, you look at his character and you look at the situation at Villa and, and wonder whether he is the the right fit with Clark alongside him. And that soothes those concerns slightly. I feel anyway. Uh, Clark uh, far more uh, kind of uh, far more uh, fantastic. Well, a first-class coach. Uh, it must be said, but uh, someone who won't take any, you know, any messing around, and, and will be uh, charged with, uh, you know, sorting out the uh, the villa dressing room, which which is in bad, badly need of a culture change. Will, will the delay in ownership affect potential transfer negotiations? 
Well, I'm not so sure about that. I think you can you can put plans in, in place. I mean, I mean, it's not affected them appointing a, a new manager, has it? So uh, you know, that's a, that's a major thing. And you know, there were you know queries perhaps a few days ago whether you know the, the, whether Di Matteo would come on board before the, the takeover was was ratified. Obviously, he's seen enough to be happy that he's uh, he's signed a contract. He's, his contract is not dependent on the, on the takeover taking place. So I don't think it, it's. Uh, I don't think it, it certainly doesn't help them. You know, it doesn't stop them pursuing targets and you know talking to people and, and, and getting their getting things organised and set ready to hit the ground running when the when the takeover is uh, is completed. Hopefully, uh, sooner rather than later.